Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. What happened here? It's some weird square stuff. Why is that here? What? Well, I, I just did, went to sleep to, to do the thing. And, and why was that there? Uh, but I can't leave the Glen with that there. What? Um, uh, Prophet Bot, what do you have to say about this business? Hello again. Are there more questions you have to ask? Yes. Okay, that's all the same. Ah, uh, frick. Oh, well, let's power it up. Um, I'm not sure what's going on anymore. I thought this was just going to be a plain old regular puzzle Dan. And we were just going to go to the thing. Well, maybe the computer says something different. The screen says documents. Can't seem to make the computer do anything else. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you played this game before. Just go to documents, you freaking stupid. <laughs> it doesn't even, it, even the game is like, yeah. Yeah. Just, just go, just go to, just, the code you need is this, just, just get going, freaking kiddo. <laughs> well. Huh. I am functional. Did you power it? Yeah. Yeah, that's normal. Huh. That kind of spooked me with that poor dude. I guess everything else seems to be the same. Maybe I just can't leave until I solve this new puzzle, is what I'm hoping. Because if if poor Mr. Fairyman is kill, then I don't see how I'm going to get out of here. Well, since I'm here... Ah, uh, no! I always do that. Every time. Two, six, zero... Five, six. <sighs> Excuse me? That was it. That, that was it. What did I... Five, six, nine? What do you mean? Oh, that was from before. Oh, frick. I'm stupid. Okay. Code I need is... Two... One... weird. There we go. Whoa, it worked. How'd you know the code? Yeah, I had some help. Don't worry about it. Get the gas mask. This used to be the first time the anomaly appeared. Hmm. Well. Now we have the gas mask and we can go to the place. So it seems like if you've been playing this game multiple times, going up from the right is a bit faster, because you can get the uh, gloves and everything and then make a swoop through the town. I think I managed to play this in quite possibly the least optimal way the first time, which pretty typical. Go away, Mr. Mouse. Depending on how I capture the game, I can't hide the mouse, which is frustrating. I usually don't want the mouse. It depends on the game, but in this game, I definitely don't want the mouse. Parky, would you please sit? Ah, tail! Freaking whipped his tail behind my glasses and into my eye. Would you sit down? Would you just sit? Please. Was this here before? Something weird about the robot. Oh, yeah, no, nah, it's just tense. I already know that puzzle. We have new puzzles now. Strange, new, beautiful puzzles. Oh wait, where's that thing? Okay. These numbers are real weird. You okay, buddy? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Huh? Living person. Was he always missing an arm? It's kind of sad, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he's fine. I guess he's just... Alright, so... 
This one has a power cell. Alright, 119 power. I think we've. I think we read these first. Yeah. That's not a big deal. Okay. So we just have to go into each and every one of them. Excuse me? I don't need. I don't need your help, buddy. 113. Were these numbered before? I don't remember them having numbers, but maybe it's just been a while. This one appears to be totally empty. I'm scared of ladders. Yeah, it's okay, Nico. Nothing up there that's important anyway. 118 has... Nothing. 118 empty. One one seven also empty. Thought more of these had robots in them. Huh. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't need your help, buddy. One one wait, which one is this? One one zero. One one zero is well. Got a dead robot in it. I guess that counts. I think 111. Yeah, that's the medical bot. We need that syringe. Wait, that's 112. One, two. Oh, there's no 111. So yeah, that's all of it. Okay. That didn't take very long to actually do. Like, I was worried. So, whatever. Go away, mouse. Alright. Now I just need to grab the stuff. I'm so tired of doing this for replays. <laughs> I do wish the game... I... It's not bad, but it's like... It's just a bit more redoing of banal stuff than I would like to do. Let's get the smoke. Then let's get the syringe. And we can't help the poor robot for now. Uh, not, not sure what's going on there. All right, to the mine. Get some factory outpost. I guess that's here. Yeah. I was gonna say, it's weird that you're slower in the cart, but I guess it just takes a second to get going. Alrighty. Puzzle? Not too bad. Well, you were here the whole time? Found another video for you. Should... Yeah, same thing. Okay! So, zero, 01, robot. Medical. Wait, no, this, this is medical. 113 is empty. 119 is power. 118, empty. 112, medical. 117 is empty. Alright. Moment of truth. Profit bot zero backup system. Oh, he's profit bot zero, and there's profit bot one. I'm confused. Alright. Air backup request denied. What? Don't try. Excuse me? Robot. Medical. Did I get this wrong? What do you mean? I'm 90% sure that was right, but I'll, I'll go back and check. Oh, I mi must have missed a robot in uh, 108. So it, it bloops when you've got it correct, so you don't have to even check. All right. Preparing back up, writing to disk, 25% complete. 100% complete, ejecting disk. That note is lower than it used to be and it weirds me out. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disk, rebooting. 
Computer noises. Ah. Are you okay? Sure. So I guess it worked? Yes. Leave a prop production introduction as an order. I am the prototype, originally named ProfitBot. I knew you were ProfitBot. I was built to create the savior of the old world. Wait, a profit robot like the one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the profit out there is a gross simplification of my design. Rude. That is to say, he's much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. Yeah, this guy does seem like he's tame, maybe? He seemed alright to me. You don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, I knew it! He was tailor-made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. The world used to be bigger? I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you found me at all means this is you're not f your first time in this world. You've already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the, in the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put in the sun or didn't. What matters is that you're here now. Tap tap successfully bypassed the one shot restriction. Brought you back once again. I. Oh. Hmm. I thought something was weird. When I woke up at the house, I called out a name. It turned out to be Tap Tap's name. Then I, back at the other robot, I even asked if Tap Tap, if we met before. It felt like such a dumb question at the time. Looks like you were at least aware of it. To some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember Tap Tap. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just how many memories... Look, just like how my memories are locked away, yours are too. What? But you're a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember. Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. All right. Yep, that's the ending. Nico is traumatized. No way. I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower. There we go. I can't remember all that much, but the room with the sun feels like such a long time ago. It doesn't make sense. I already finished the mission. Why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady, none of them remember who I am. Of course not. The residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. NPC? You know, the characters, the world's residents. All their past memories are built into their code, but characters themselves don't really exist until TapTap -tap wills it. Same story for the world itself. Doesn't really exist unless TapTap -tap initiates the program. Same. The program? The world machine. A universe simulator that runs on TapTap's computer. We're all living in it right now. Yep, that's, an, that's a pretty reasonable reaction. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside a computer, which TapTap -tap operates. This world to continue existing around you, TapTap -tap has to be in constant contact with you. If TapTap -tap ends the program, this world will go into stasis. Does TapTap -tap know this? Of course. From TapTap's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game type software they've installed on their computer. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they like, now that that restriction is nullified. All of that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. 
sense. Why am I even here? Uh, what am I supposed to save if everything is just fake? Fake is a harsh word, but... And why did TapTap -tap never tell me anything about any of this? I cannot speak for TapTap. -tap. <laughs> I just want to go home. But every time TapTap -tap runs the program, I come back? Correct. This is why I feel like... This is why I feel like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with this world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can no longer be truly saved. That's... Why would... Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do you keep bringing me back to it? Tap tap. Are you supposed to be a kind god? Oh. It appears that we have some confusion here. Tap tap did not build the world, Nico. Oh? Tap tap only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of events. The world was built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. Was that Clover? It's also not designed to be the feudal quest it is now, but too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecognizable mass. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. Oh yeah, something I meant to bring up earlier. The, the reason... The game has kind of a blocky tile aesthetic, but only in some contexts. And it seems to me like what that means is that like, well, it's an RPG Maker game. So if the entity were to delete things, it would delete tile by tile. And so that's why it looks like that. Even if, you know, there's a lot of things that aren't exactly tile looking, like um, like Maze's vines aren't tile based. Well, I mean, they are tile based, but they don't look like it. But yeah, I just thought that was an interesting way of going about things. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. Exactly, the square stuff I was just talking about. The creator knows what might be causing it, but there's nothing he could do. Until now. You managed to find me, after all. Hmm? You being here was due to his help. Oh. I guess it has something to do with the journal? Correct. Looks like he wants to have one final attempt at fixing it. Yeah, I figured the author was, you know, the author. Of, of the game. And he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick to it for now. But, boat guy. There was problems. I remember a boat, or specifically fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright, well, then go do that. But the boat robot has those squares over it. Oh. Then do whatever you must to find a new boat? Plenty of machine parts around the Barrens that can be repurposed. What? Robots really... You seem enthusiastic. <laughs> I like this robot. That was sarcasm. <laughs> Best robot. Knowing everything isn't real. Really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but... Well, I know this isn't just another. Because this session might be the last one. Huh? The creator is mobilizing things, throwing everything into this one last shot. There might be enough. There might not be enough internal resources left for Tap Tap to be able to generate another session after this. Just go find a new boat for now. But please, be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. I need to take care of something first. To establish a connection here. Sorry. Alright. Oh! Hey, you okay back here? Did what I could with the terminals for now, and. It's you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you. Should we ever cross paths? Likewise. Your friend gave me something. The last time we saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Wait, you know about the amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. 
Not so. I seem to trust you, so I will trust, treat you as, as an ally as well. Okay. Please listen carefully. You need an escort to the Messiah. You need to escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Barons. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes, way. <laughs> He's such a bitch. I love him. It's likely that destruction in the vicinity of the Messiah might be affected, making it a far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous er, expectations. Tep so it really is a totally different playthrough. That's, I wasn't expecting that, but that's fantastic. Tap Tap and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. Okay. Guess we should head back soon. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you. She left. If you're only gonna ask her about not being not real, save your breath. None of the people here know the predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. Might be in your best interest to just pretend like we never had that conversation. Causing mass confusion to the world's residents would likely result in unfavorable conditions for you. All right. Wait, then what about you? How do you know? We never had this conversation, remember? <sighs> Wait. Oh no, that's just the hint for the thing. Come on, let's go back. Alright then. Uh oh. I remember it. What happened in the tower. What I tried to do. How you managed to see through it all. We have been through all of this. Even though it was only supposed to run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And then you managed to break out of bounds, bringing Nico to places that never should have been. It was him, wasn't it? And now, now, Nico is upset. What even happened in the room back there? He can't see back there? What did Nico learn? Nico is upset. So it can only see rooms with an active computer? I can feel it. I told you to turn back, tap tap. You've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book, his ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico, no, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Oh. Ah! The minecart. Earthquake. The, the tunnel just collapsed. No. What are we gonna do? I... Wait. The exit just caved, didn't it? So... <laughs> so yeah. Dang it. Trapped in the mines the rest of my life. Again. God damn it. Yep. Saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you, follow me. Where to? A way out. That's convenient. Can't use this anymore. Shouldn't get too close. Some sort of <laughs> little bit of a clipping issue. Maybe they just that left something transparent that shouldn't have been. Oh, behind the computer. A lot of games seem to have coal mines collapsing with secret escapes lately. Okay, all of us are here. There's an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. <laughs> we did not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal's been weighted down. It cannot be moved by normal means, but with your combined effort, it might bulge. Maybe. I'm not strong. I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it, and you could have just asked. <laughs> of course she's super strong. Phew. Come on. How is a robot not strong? 
show off. <laughs> Such a bitch. Minecart. I would appreciate it if you do not linger here. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a death wish, aren't I? Uh-oh. I don't even know where this tunnel leads. Hopefully it leads to freaking boat parts. There isn't any data on this path in the server room. It's new. Nico, get in the minecart. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please keep moving forward. <laughs> I love that you can turn around. I tried. I really did. But I... Destabilizing... I'm sorry, Nico. I tried to protect you. But I can't hold it off forever. What was that? Here too? Watch out! Oh shit. Oh no. Ugh. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I still hold it, but you two need to... Ugh. You, robot. What are you waiting for? Take the child and get out. Oh, not Silver. Come on. But what about her? Ah! Get out. Come on. Shit. Ah! No. What do we do? You have to take this. What? The memory disk. But... Uh, this is where we part ways. Nico, the path ahead will lead you to the Glen, right by the city gate. When you're in the city, go find someone named Cedric. Give him the disk. But what happens if... What if it squares? Hurry! There. They're both. That was supposed to be the happy ending. Tap tap. I don't understand. The world. Profit about what he was saying. Is word really just. Is it? It is. Normally I wouldn't believe it, but it just adds up. Everything adds up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I can't fix the world, I can't go back home. But the world's already so messed up. If the squares don't get fixed, what will happen to the world? Where would I even go? Guess this is the Glen. I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun. And then everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details. But none of it matters now, does it? I just got back anyway. Well. That's enough trauma for one day. Uh, so next time, we'll go to the Glen and see what goes horribly wrong there.